Now, welcome to today's video on biodiversity. Now we talk about pigs, pig farming and pork. If you have observed something over the, the days, yes, you can see that I always come to try to talk to you directly without involving my pigs as well. It's not like intentional, but the thing is I have been away from the farm for about uh, seven months now. Yes, I left the farm about seven months. I'm not there. Everything there is being managed by my mother who is there doing everything every day and giving me a report. So weekly report actually. Every Saturday we talk about how the farm is performing. So I'm not on the farm for the past seven days. That is why you see me talking to you directly like this. I'm not involving my farm as well. And like I said in my discussion every day, the farm is particularly just to showcase and then share my experience with you. So that you know that uh, I'm not just uh, telling you from the books or anything, but I'm actually doing it. And I'm, if I'm doing it, I'm preaching to you. You understand it better. Okay. So uh, some have reached out to me and I appreciate those people who have reached out to me, especially some of my subscribers. You have some of you reached out to me that you wanted to get to know a lot of practical aspect of it. Yes. It's actually something I want to do for you as well. And I shouldn't just be talking to you, but to also involve you in the practical aspect and I'm doing certain things which I, will look, I want to look into very, very seriously. But for now, and I will say, pardon me, because I'm, I'm away from the farm for over seven months now. And very soon I'll go back to the farm and I will be doing the practicals and I'll showcase everything. I'll let you know everything that I'm doing. Okay, there are actually a lot of practicals, uh, including how you'll be able to even prepare your own feed. I will involve directly in the feed for a uh, preparation, correct one that I was doing together. Over the years, I've not been using this, uh, in buying these expensive ingredients to prepare feed for my pigs. I've been doing it cheaply and it's working for me. But this time around, I've realized that uh, not everybody is a uh, privileged like I am. So I'm going to go according to the standard one so that you'll be able to know how to do it yourself for every stage of pigs that you have on your farm. So just bear with me and subscribe to this channel. Keep subscribed to it. And when the time comes very soon, I'm going to involve in the practical aspect of it. And you get to do everything bit by bit but for now I'm, i'll keep sharing my experience and if you leave me i can just be talking about pigs every day without stopping because i like what i'm doing and it's something that i always say if you want to go into it just lack what you're doing you don't have to be serious with pig farming all the time no if you're too serious in pig farming you quit there are certain happenings that you have to uh, act as if you have not seen anything or it is not happening just close your eyes and move past it okay but if you want to take everything serious, you would easily quit in pig farming. That is one thing you should be aware of. So you can't just be serious all the time on your farm. Sometimes you have to pause and have fun. For me like this, if I want to have fun, one thing is I go to the, the farm and I involve my boy because he's the guy who used to be a, a bit lazy. So I go there to involve him, disturb him a bit. He'll be running up and down and then you see, in the process, I have fun and then leave the farm as well. Okay. So if you take pig farming too serious, it's not going to help you. And so if something small should happen on the farm, it will affect you negatively. As part of being serious on your farm, also take, make time to play, have fun with yourself. And don't take yourself too seriously on the farm that you want everything professionally looking. No, it's farming you are doing, know that. And if you're passionate about what you're doing, you don't even care too much about the money aspect. But you love to see the animals living. That's the only thing, yes. You love to see the animals living, how they are behaving, you learn from them, animal behavior. That's all, it keeps you going. You don't even think too much about this money, money, money thing. Somebody is making this, you don't compare yourself a lot. Because you know you're lame, and you know why you're in it. You're not just there because of the money. The money is one of the motivators in pig farming. But that one should not be the major part. Make it small portion, and then passion small, and then some purpose small. You keep moving yes so if if you be see me doing practicals on my farm please bear with me that i've been away from the farm for seven months and the farm is being managed by my mom a woman i will always be grateful for nothing bad has happened she always tell me this is so oh, everything is on point and there's something i don't understand and she will tell me this kind of thing to me if i'm not really able to get it that's why i'll call the veterinarian there to go and check it for her that's why we keep moving on the farm okay so I don't have to always be on the farm myself. I've left the farm for close to seven months now. So if I've not been seeing a particular, that's what it is. And like I said, stay tuned to this channel by being subscribed to it. I will definitely give you the particulars when I go down there to start serious particulars. I will document and video everything to ensure you don't miss any of those videos. And if there's a particular particular thing you want to see also, you can let me know in the comments by just typing it below 
and I will look to it and make sure I make a video just to see with you. But the reason I'm sharing, if not for that reason, I will not be online. What am I doing here? Because my family will be running. But I want to also share what I'm learning with you so that you don't take time to learn what I have, I have to time to learn. But you just keep moving smoothly and you move faster, faster than I'm doing now. So that's the main reason why I'm on this YouTube doing this. I'm not here just to have fun here, no. But I'm just to let you speed up your process in case you are thinking about starting. There are people who used to say, why are you not doing poultry farming? Why are you not doing a cow and cattle farm? Why are you not doing... I said, no, I like pigs. And it's solely pigs I'm doing. I'm just focused on pigs. Whatever I'm doing is just pig farming. Know that you're just doing pig farming and everything you're doing is about pigs. Even if it's not directly on the farm, farming of pigs, every conversation we have having is tailored towards pigs, 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 and then pig farming. So that is what you see more often on this channel. So just comment below what you want to see as part of the practicals. 